Hey, midday shakes here. Isn't this fun? We are still working our way through Hamlet, which is a good thing because we just started it a couple of days ago. Today we are in Act 1, Scene 3, and we get to hear from Laertes. Now, Laertes is the son of Polonius, who's a man who has been in the court for quite some time. Polonius is still serving Claudius since the old King Hamlet has died. Laertes is also the brother to Ophelia, who you may have heard of before. Nobody out crazies Ophelia, that whole sort of thing. So anyway, in the last scene, Laertes asked Claudius if since he has now, you know, come and paid his respects and was there for the wedding, he wants to go back to school in France. Laer um, Claudius and Polonius said, sure, go back to France. So now in Act 1, Scene 3, we have Laertes packing up his things and saying goodbye to his sister Ophelia before he goes back to school in France. And he and Laertes starts out the scene, he's like, okay, sis, so long, be good, and keep in mind, be careful with that Hamlet guy who you're kind of seeing at the moment. And she's like, it's, what? And he's like, yeah, it's it's probably not as serious as you think it is. So like cool your jets and she's like really you don't think so and he says think it no more for nature crescent does not grow alone in thews and bulk but as his temple waxes the inward service of the mind and soul grows wide withal perhaps he loves you now and now no soil nor caudal doth besmirch the virtue of his fear but you must fear his greatness weighed his will is not his own for he himself is subject to his birth. He may not, as unvalued persons do, carve for himself. For on his choice depends the sanctity and health of the whole state. And therefore must his choice be circumscribed unto the voice and yielding of that body whereof he is the head. Then, if he says he loves you, it fits your wisdom so far to believe it as he in his particular sect and force may give his saying deed, which is no further than the main voice of Denmark goes with all. Then, then wait what loss your honor may sustain. If with too credent ear you list his songs or lose your heart or your chaste treasure open to his unmastered importunity, fear it. Ophelia, fear it, my dear sister, and keep within the rear of your affection out of the shot and danger of desire. The cheriest maid is prodigal enough if she unmask her beauty to the moon. Virtue itself scapes not calumnous strokes. The canker galls the infants of the spring too oft before the buttons be disclosed, and in the morn and liquid dew of youth, contagious blastments are most imminent. Be wary then, best safety lies in fear. Youth to itself rebels, though none else near. So yeah, this is a lovely little speech from a brother to a sister about how she should keep her knees closed. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I've never had that conversation with my brother. Thank goodness. I love my brother, he's a good person, but yeah. Anyway. We'll get to hear a little bit more from this family about their fine family dynamics and so on and so forth when we meet the dad, Polonius, tomorrow. I think we meet Polonius tomorrow. We must meet Polonius tomorrow. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for whoever it is that we get to hear from. Mwah.